again, my friends and fiends. It's Super Monster City, where we always scream. So here is, we're going to talk about monster model boxes. Because we had another session, we talked about James Bama, and we're going to talk more about James Bama. B-A-M-A. -A. He did most of the monster model boxes. But because I always loved this little independent sort of outlier line of monsters, this was... The Green Ghoul from Lindbergh Models, and it was a really simple model, but nobody else seemed to have them. I know you've got some out there. Take a picture, Facebook to us on Super Monster City. We also got a YouTube channel. So that's the green thingamabob. Now in the model box, oh, by the way, there's like it says, Spacemen right there. Now that would have been my father sorting Spacemen and using this box as a container like 40 or 50 years ago. So that always brings a smile to my evil lips. Oh, wait, but look, there's a monkey's card box. Remember the monkey's TV show? That happened to sneak into the model box. So this is a voyage of self-discovery without a rudder, without a script, without a plan. Off we go over the edge of the world. Wait, there was also dinosaurs. This was a pretty, not very exciting model series. I mean, dinosaurs, yeah. So there's your Stegosaurus, all right? But wait, here's Captain America, not by James Bauman. There's something else in there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's a Batman card box. I didn't know that was in there. Batman had cards. Five cents, you got five cards and a stick of gum. This is from the big Batman craze. Oh, my God. It was a beautiful set of cards. We'll keep that out because that goes somewhere else later. Captain America, on the other hand, was an Aurora model splashing through the mud. This came out in the 60s when there was a Silver Age of comics and there was Marvel superheroes on TV. There was this really cool cartoon show that was syndicated. Put that over there. And then here's King Kong brrr, with Fay Ray in his hand. The Phantom of the Opera, always one of my favorites. This isn't quite the story of the model. In the model, the little prisoner is down at his feet. And I was always wondering, who was that guy? What was his story? Oh, my God. Phantom of the Opera. And there's a Godzilla thing. These I cut out as a kid. Forgive me. I cut them out and put them on my wall. Sad to say, but I still got that part at least. More James Bama. James Bama, Dracula, Bela Lugosi. How can you not fail to love that toy? Oh, my God. Come, come, come to me. Yes, you can see Bela Lugosi just ready to hypnotize you right there. And then we've got, of course, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Looks a bit like the Frederick March version, if you know that. So this is mid-transition. This one was really fragile because it's got all these beakers and it's on a table and he's drinking that goo. And uh, he's right in the middle of a transformation, which we thought was really cool. Again, James Bama. Take a look for him. I want to remind you, I've got some crib notes here. The only script I've got, there's a great DVD documentary about James Bama and the Aurora Monsters. It's in this house somewhere, but that doesn't mean anything. We'll never find it. But I wanted to remind you, if you want to know more, go to look up, probably on Amazon, maybe on eBay, the Aurora Monsters, the model craze that gripped the world. It's a great, informative little documentary. And speaking of crazy stuff, if you like monsters like I do, this is a pretty good book about the monster kid moments. It's got all the cool stuff Monster Old made. It's got all about the movies, the Super 8, famous monsters of Filmland, and there's your Aurora models. So once again, if you want to know more about monsters, reach out to me. Tell me things. YouTube. We're on YouTube. Oh my God, I don't even know how that works. I'm like a crazy scientist from a lost century in the past. I'm the Don Quixote of saving stuff. And there you go. So enjoy the energy. Enjoy the mayhem. Bring us your memories. Bring us your nostalgia. Bring us your sentiment. What do you remember from growing up? What do you remember from doing the now? We'll talk to you later. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate your energy, support, and enthusiasm. And we'll be back later. <laughs>